Welcome to lesson 7, naming and formula writing for binary compounds. Our objectives for this lesson, identify a binary compound by name, and construct chemical formulas for binary compounds. When we discuss things like ions, these are elements that have a charge associated with them. And so on the reference table, there's a list of charges, and that's in the upper right-hand corner of the element box. So for calcium, the charge is plus 2. And we'll have positive and negative charges, or positive and negative ions. The positive ions are called cations, and I just think of the T here forms the plus sign, so that's how I know it's a positive ion. When we try to name a cation, we're going to use the full name of the element followed by the word ion. So for example, the calcium atom, Ca, becomes the calcium ion. So how do I know the difference between an atom and an ion in the formula? Well, the formula here, Ca, has no charge associated with it, so that's the atom. And then Ca plus 2, coming from that plus 2 up here, that's an ion, so that's the calcium ion. Negative ions are called anions, and we have the N in the name for negative. For negative ions, like nitrogen, we're going to look at the top number here, or I should say top charge, and we see that's negative. That's the one we're going to use. And so for nitrogen, we're going to take the first syllable and then use the eyed ending. So the nitrogen atom, again, is just an N. When I see the negative 3, that tells me it's an ion. It's a negative ion. And so I take the first syllable, nit, and I add eyed. So it's nitride ion. Let's see some examples. We're going to determine if it's an anion or a cation, and then we're going to name it. So Mg plus 2 positive, that's a cation. Again, the T forms the plus sign for positive. And so we're going to look up Mg on the reference table, and we see that's magnesium, so we write magnesium ion. K plus, again, that's a cation. Taking the full name, K is potassium, so that's the potassium ion. Now we have a negative, that's an anion. And so for anions and negative ions, we take the first syllable and then add ide. So oxygen becomes oxide ion. Same thing with fluorine, that's a negative ion, so that's an anion. And so we take the first syllable, fluor, and we're going to add ide ending. Positive ion for lithium, that's a cation, and so we write lithium ion. So now we're going to start to put these together to make a compound. So if we have, for example, lithium and fluorine coming together, we're going to get lithium fluoride. So we're just going to put those names together. So a binary compound is just that, when we have only two elements put together in a compound. We're going to learn how to name ones that have more than two in a later lesson. So for example, NaCl has two elements, Na and Cl, so that's a binary compound. So how do we name binary compounds? Well, the first thing we're going to do is going to write the complete name of the first element. Recall that first element is going to be the cation, the positive ion, and that is just going to be the full name. The second element is going to be the negative ion, that's the anion, and we're using the first syllable of that element and then adding i. So we have K here, that's the positive ion, we take the full name. So we look up on the reference table, K is potassium, and then iodine, we take the first syllable, iode, and then we add the ide ending, and we get potassium iodide. Mg is magnesium, write the full name. Chlorine, we take the first syllable chlor, and then we add the ide ending. Calcium, take the full name, and then for the negative anion, nitrogen, we get nitride. So let's see some more examples. I look up Li on the reference table, and that's lithium, so I write lithium, and then we take the first syllable of phosphorus, we get phos, and then we add ide, so it's lithium phosphide. Next one, Al is aluminum, and then sulfur becomes sulfide. Here we have strontium, and then bromine becomes bromide. Rb is rubidium, and then oxygen becomes oxide. Ba is barium, and then selenium becomes selenide. So let's check your understanding thus far. Can you identify binary compounds by? So let's look at writing chemical formulas. First thing, recall that the sum of charges, or these oxidation numbers, in a compound must equal zero. So all compounds are neutral. 
And also recall that we don't write ones in chemistry for subscripts or coefficients. So for example, if I'm trying to combine sodium and chlorine, I write my ions, so the sodium ion Na plus 1, and the chloride ion Cl minus 1. And what I like to do underneath the symbols is write the total charge. So I have plus 1, so I write plus 1, minus 1, minus 1. And so then I add them up, plus 1 and minus 1 equals 0, so this compound is neutral. So I only need one Na and one Cl, and so my chemical formula becomes NaCl. Let's see another example. We're going to write the chemical formula for a compound containing barium and oxygen. So the first thing we're going to do is going to write the two chemical symbols next to each other. The positive one goes first. And I'm writing the charge that is associated with that ion. So barium would form a plus two ion, oxygen would form a negative two ion. And then below that, I'm going to put the total charge. So plus two ion gives me plus two. Negative 2 ion gives me negative 2. Plus 2 and minus 2 equals 0. So this is also neutral. And so I only need 1 Ba and 1 O. And I'm not going to write Ba1, O1. Again, we don't write 1, so I just write BaO for barium oxide. Let's see another example. Here we want to combine um, calcium and fluorine. So here is calcium, here's fluorine. So again, I write the positive ion first. So I write Ca plus 2, and then fluorine minus 1. I write my total charge below. So plus 2 gives me plus 2. Negative 1 is a negative 1. And so plus 2 minus 1 does not equal 0. And so it has to be neutral. So what's going to happen is that calcium is going to pull in another negative ion. It's going to pull in another fluorine. And so if I have two negative charges, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, which is going to cancel out the positive 2. And so when I write my chemical formula, it's going to have 1 calcium and 2 fluorines. And so I'd write calcium and then the fluorine with the 2, so CaF2. Again, notice I don't put a subscript 1 for calcium because it's already indicated by the symbol itself. Let's see another example. We want to combine a compound containing lithium and sulfur. So lithium is my positive ion. That's going to go first. And that's plus one. And then sulfur is the negative ion. Remember, we're taking the top one for the negative ions. And so I write those symbols next to each other. So plus one and minus two. Below, I'm going to write the total charge. So right now, I have plus one for lithium, minus two for sulfur. It has to equal zero. In this case, it does not yet. And so what's going to happen is that sulfur is going to attract another positive ion, which is lithium and that gets pulled in. And so now I have two positive charges here. So two times plus one is plus two. Minus two, now it equals zero. This compound is neutral. So what is my chemical formula? Well, I have two lithiums and one sulfur, so it's going to be Li2S. Let's check your understanding. Can you construct chemical formulas for binary compounds? At this point, you should be able to identify binary compounds by name and construct chemical formulas for binary compounds.